Hey guys, a common question I get asked a couple of times is animation player versus animator sprite. What should I use for my animation? This video is going to walk you through how the two of them work and it's probably going to tell you the one that is better. So stick around if you want to see it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I make good tutorials. Nice to meet you. So let's go right into what we need to do. First of all, you can see I have a sprite here. I'm going to drag that in and I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so our goal for this video is to animate this sprite. We're using the two of them. I'm going to drag this out here. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the animation player. As you can see, I made a new animation and named it run anime. So what we have to do to animate this sprite is we go to animation for the animation player actually. Go to animation, choose how many frames, and go to the animation player. Yes. And we have to key this in. Okay, we have to key the anime the particular frame in. So we're gonna key starting from key zero, key one, okay, key in the four frames there. So as you can see, we have our running animation. As you can see, it kind of took us some time and it was kind of hectic to work. So this is one thing I don't like about the animation player when it comes to sprite animation, um, because you have to key in everything separately. Okay, you have to key in everything one by one. Now, for example, let's say we wanted to make this guy run faster. How are we gonna do that? It's by going here, I think change it to about 0 0.5 here, and we have to move it. Okay, just move the frames closer. As you can see, it's going to run faster. So, we have to so as you can see, now he's running faster. But as I said before, that is kind of long and kind of hard. But for the animated sprites, what you need to do is just come over here. I created my new sprite frames. Come over here to this um, grid like looking icon that says add frames from the sprite sheet. When we click that, we just click this sprite. Okay, click the sprite, open it, and as you can see, we have vertical and horizontal. So the vertical frames is one, horizontal frames is four, select and clear all frames, and add all the four frames. As you can see, we're done. All you need to do is just check play, and we have our animation. As you can see, this animation is slow. If you want to increase it, nothing much, just go over here to speed, and just increase it to whatever you want. So now it's 15, and you see that it's fast. Okay, you can increase this to literally anything you want. Until it suits you, like you can increase it to like a 20, can we increase it to like a 200, very obnoxious numbers there. And yeah, it will kind of be easy, but for the animation player, you have to select it one by one, drag and, and all that stuff, which is not cool. So we have the first difference there. So now the second thing is, I'm just going to delete all my frames here, delete all, and I'm going to delete this animation and delete this right. I'm going to stop this. So now I have all these balls here. For example, all of them are the same um, resolution, 16 by 16. So well, sorry, the same size. <laughs> sorry for that. So what I want to do right now is I want to be switching through these balls. So what you can do in animated sprites, you just go over here to this folder icon that says add texture from path. You click it and select all of them. Open. You can see that we have our blinking or I would say blinking changing. Um, we have just changed, we are changing the sprites according to the animation as well. We can change it, we can make the speed different and all that stuff, which is really cool. But for the animation player, what we have to do is you drag in and make it a sprite first, just before it has to be a sprite. Then you key in this um, texture, key this in, you move a step, drag again, key it in. Now you can see the difference and how, how hectic it is to work with animate that animation player. So you have to key all of this in and yeah. Which is pretty annoying. I, I'm not condemning the animation player. What I'm just trying to say is, when you're working with sprites, animated sprites is the best, um, as the name implies. <laughs> okay, so we can play this, and we see that it's um, blinking and stuff. If we want to change the speed, also we have to do this manually by shifting all this um, different nodes here, which is not cool. Um, this is the difference between sprite, animation player and animated sprite. So this is why animated sprite is better for sprite animation. But you can't, you can't. It it has so much limitation that you can't animate um, other things in it. Okay, but animation player can animate literally everything. Literally, like literally everything that you want to be animated. Animated animation player can animate it. So yeah, that's the difference. And yeah, that that's really cool. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments or join my Discord link in the description. Thanks for watching. If, as I said before, if you're new, consider subscribing. See you guys next time and goodbye.